He was a one-man workforce for the city of Braddock. He gave people hope. And then he went on to be mayor. So John, in essence, was on call for 24 hours, seven days a week. When a fire broke out, you would see John on the fire truck or behind it. When there was a shooting, John was on that call. When there was a car accident, John was at that accident. You could see John directing traffic. My name is Lisa Freeman. I'm a social worker. I've been a social worker for over 40 years. I started my career in Braddock, Pennsylvania, working alongside, at that time, Mr. John Federman. Braddock, pretty much then, was almost like an apocalyptic town. The steel mills had been closed for a long time. There was no jobs there. There was no affordable housing. There was no tax base. So when I first met John, the unsolicited truth was, I thought this man is crazy. He was not mayor then. He was running a program that was funded by the Urban League of Allegheny County. I went to his office and it was very minimal, a desk and this big seven foot guy sitting behind the desk. And he talked real streets. He talked real plain. And I knew instantly that John cared for these young men and that he was sincerely involved in their lives and sincerely the change that they needed at that time. John is a no-nonsense kind of person. He doesn't spare any unnecessary words. What he says is what he means. There's no pretension with John. If you see him today, he's gonna to be the same way tomorrow. John brought out the best in people in Braddock. He gave people hope when there shouldn't have been any hope. But you could see tangible growth coming in. You could see small businesses coming in. You could see people being invested in. People who want to own homes, there's resources for them. There's pride there. There's always been pride, and the pride is even better now for people who live in Braddock.